Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much respect to the whole elect. And Shalom to you, few brothers and sisters that watch my videos and gain edification. All right. Now, this is a video uh, from that sh that shack two times or two x. You know. Whatever the case may be, but you know, this is this is a real a real thing, you know, and it, and and it's just you know more and more prevalent out there, you know, because you know I find that more and more men are talking to married women because a lot of these women be out here, they be with it, you know, they be with having you know uh, affairs and things of that nature. You know, adulterous entanglements and things of that nature, you know. But at the end of the day, you do something like that. The Most High might put the spirit on your husband, you know, to put you to death and put that man to death, all right? Because, you know, at the end of the day, it's unlawful, all right? But the scriptures say that. We shall be an adulterous nation. All right? But in no way, shape, form, or fashion are you supposed to go out there and talk to another man's woman. You know, you're supposed to court another man's woman. You know, have sex with another man's woman. And it's it's bad enough, you know, the scriptures, you know, speak, speak about it. Uh, you know, just looking at a woman. The thought... Of being with a woman who's married is an is an act itself of adultery. So the thought of it is a, is already adultery. You already committed the sin, the crime. You know, you already committed the sin. You know, when you look upon another man's wife, that's why you know it irritates me so much. And I know it irritates a lot of brothers and sisters out there as well when women dress in a provocative manner. You know tasteless, very tasteless manner, you know, uh, with no shame, you know, because you don't, because you don't know if that woman has a husband, and most of the time, it'd be women with husbands, they'd be dressing like this, because they, their husbands don't have no control, no say-so over the w way they women dress, they, they woman dress, you know, and she will tell him, you, you can't tell me what to wear. So a lot of these women are out of order. They will not listen to their husbands. They will not listen to the Lord. But they don't have that fear. And they're and, and they out of order. All right? So with that said, I'm going to let you watch this video. And then I'll break out to some scripture. So today I'm in, this, in the store and there was a young lady in front of me. Guy comes in there and approaching her, talking to her. And then he asked her, yo, you married? You clearly see the, the ring on her finger. And she said, yeah. So he said, you happy? What? That's my thought process. So she said, no. They exchanged numbers. He was like, well, call me when the coast is clear. And I just gave him this look like, you're playing a dangerous game, my man. And here's why. You don't know the mental stability of her husband. You don't know what that man has to do to put food on the table. You don't know what stressors he got in the day. And you don't know what event in his life is needed for him to make sure nobody's breathing in the house again. So why would you play that game? And also, you don't know what he look like. You may be walking down the street, and next thing you know, you ain't walking down there no more. He's right. He's right. So, you know, you don't know. It's a lot you don't know. And the most high might put the spirit on that man. And that, that might be the last day you breathe. You know, and it's a lot of that going around. And that's why a lot of judgment is going out. And people asking, well, why, why is this happening? Why is that happening? Because you're, 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 because he's an adulterer. You know what I'm saying? He, there's certain men out there that prey on married women. 
they feel like it's a turn on, it's a challenge to go after someone that's already accounted for, that's already taken, all right? And they feel like it's it's some type of game, it's, it's some type of flex, or, you know, they get to brag about, oh, I, t- I took, your, took your woman, or I did this with your woman. You, you even hear it in the music, you know? Certain rappers brag about, you know, Rappers and you know it's it's a lot of rappers. Tupac he bragged about you know sleeping with another man's wife. What type of flex is that? What type of lower vibration is that? Flex is that? And you sitting there talking about you're you're, you're bragging about sleeping with another man's wife, defiling them, another man's wife, another man's woman. All right. That is that is not that is not a flex, all right. And the scriptures speak about it. You will be put to death. You need to turn back from your ways and repent, or you will be put to death. That's a that's a that's a crime punishable, punishable, salaki so like punishable by death, all right. So let's go into some scriptures and filter this out, because Proverbs six and thirty two reads, but well, who so Committeth adultery with a woman lacketh understanding. He that doeth it destroyeth his own soul. All right. So when you when you commit adultery with an, with another man's with another man's woman, you always got to look over. You got to sneak around. You got to look. You got to look over your over your shoulder. You gotta. You always got to be. You know. It's just it. It's nerve wracking because you don't know when this man gonna come. You don't know. You don't know what's going to happen. All right? This is Matthew 5 and 28. But I say unto you that whoever so looketh on a woman to lust after her has committed adultery with her already in his heart. So you look upon, and this goes back to what I said earlier. You look upon a woman and, you know, lust after her. Even, even if you didn't know that she was married, you still committed adultery because you looked on her, all right? And that's what, you know, gets, you know, that's what frust- is frustrating about this because you you forced to live in a world where women are given certain liberties to dress any type of way they want in a provocative manner that entices you, all right? As a man, we, we, we naturally have, have urges, all right? And you dress in a provocative manner and it entices, it entices us to look upon you, all right? Whether we want to or not, you force it on us, all right? And that's what a lot of these women do. They dress in a provocative manner and they, and it, you know, it force it on us. But to bring it back in, a lot of these men, they don't even care because a woman could be covered up. She could be covered up, dressed modestly, and they still will go after her and pursue her. Because these a lot a lot of these men out here, you know, these two third Negroes, Native Americans, and Latinos, they wicked. All right, two thirds of Israel are wicked. All right, and they don't care if the, your your woman is married. They don't care if she's married. They will still pursue her. This is Hebrews 13 and 4. Marriage is honorable in all and the bed under fire, but whoremongers and adulterers, the Most High will judge. And that's right. The Most High going to judge you. Whether he put the spirit on your husband, you know, to kill that man, or whatever have you, something's going to happen. He may not do anything to you. Your husband might not, not even do anything to the man. But trust me, something will happen to that man. It might be a it, it might be a not so random uh, uh, a killing or or murdering spree, and he might get caught up in that, or he might get caught up in an accident. A pebble might fall from the sky, crack his cranium open, split his cranium open, and he might die instantaneously. All right. So, is is spiritual forces that you don't want to mess around with when 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 you do things like that? All right. So this is Exodus. 20 and 14, thou shalt not commit adultery. All right? So, which is self-explanatory or by itself, 
But, you know, you might you might mess around and have full on hard times. Most high could punish you and and, and you, you remember that show A Thousand Ways to Die? Well, A Thousand Ways to Get Judged. All right? This is Romans 7 and 3. So then, if while her husband liveth, she be married to another man, she shall be called an adulteress. But if her husband be dead, she is free from, from that law, so that she is no adulteress, though she be married to another man. So... A woman can only have one husband. A man can have many wives, but a woman can only have one husband. I'm sorry, you know, you know, I'm not sorry, but you know, it's just that's the way it is. You know, this is the part that a lot of women have come into grips with. A lot of you know, sisters have a lot of lot, you know, come into grips with, and the truth is that they can't come to grips with this. You know. This is Matthew. 5 27 and 28 ye have heard that it was said by them of old time thou shalt not commit adultery but I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her has committed adultery with her already in his heart and that's you know and that's not literally your heart that's your mind you can't commit adultery in your heart you know you know you, it's in your mind you know so this is Ecclesiasticus 39 and 28 there be spirits created for vengeance created for vengeance which in their fury lay on sore strokes in the time of destruction they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them and this is what that uh, what the Jake was talking about what the, what the dude was talking about he was saying you know uh, their spirit um, he was talking about you don't know what mental state is Mental state That's a spirit If a spirit jump on that man And say you know what I'm saying what, what, what tells a man to do something like that Spirit jumps on him You know Spirit jumps on him and says Yo Go go, go. you know Go go mess that man up You know what I'm saying So Lord willing you know, the Jew brothers and sisters have been edified and shalom to the next one.